Did someone say skincare shopping? <laughs> It is that time again. It is the Amazon Prime Day sales and I've been testing a bunch of new skincare to share with you guys. I am so obsessed with what I'm gonna be talking about today because all the products that I'm gonna be mentioning and their brands have between like 30 to 50% off. The sales start from October 10th to 11th, but there's also early Prime Day, which starts on the 4th. So you can already start shopping and you'll see some discounts already. Let's just dive in. All right, so starting off with this guy. First, I have to mention Skin Food. It was like the first Korean brand that I ever started using before K-Beauty was ever a thing. So this is the one that I want to talk about today. It's the Carrot Carotene Calming Water Pad. These pads are so popular even in Korea. They've sold about like almost 3 million of these because they're so good to use in multiple ways. And there's a lot of them and it's just really convenient. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm going to show you how I use these pads. Don't know if you can tell, but I have an onslaught of hyperpigmentation because I broke out a bunch before my period and it is severely dehydrated and this is the best time to just do a little flash mask. So what I do, like all the Korean people and how they use it is you actually split each pad in half because it is so soft. It's like marshmallows on your face. I put one half of the pad here one here. What I found actually really interesting about these pads is that they're so soft, guys, that you just kind of like rip it. And then I put one under my lip and look, it just fits perfectly. I'll put over my nose and then this side I'll put over my forehead because it's so bumpy and scaly and this takes that roughness right out and then if you're super dry you can just spray any like spritz toner on and it just further hydrates what makes this one super special is that it's really great for calming down like overly inflamed skin as well as I feel like subtly brightening. So the main ingredients are carrot extract as well as carrot seed oil. And these are really rich in something called beta carotene as well as antioxidants. So it's really there to build up the skin. And then there's glycerin and beta glucan and these just keep your skin flexible, hydrated, soft and plush over an extended period of time. And then we just peel it off just like a mask. And then I like to just run the rest down my neck. Wait, I need to put a light on it. Perfect. Apart from all my hyperpigmentation, you can see it's nice and plump. So this product will be around 30% off on the Amazon day sale. So make sure you add it to cart then and buy it then. And then if you're interested in any of the other skin food products, I think they'll be up to like 30% off. I really love the propolis, the carrot one, the black sugar also has some really fun products too. Into our little cart, it goes. Ah. <laughs> Next is this guy, look how cute. So this is the Abib Heart Leaf Essence Calming Pump. So if you see heart leaf anywhere, that is the same ingredient as Hortunia Cortada. So it's another really soothing, really calming ingredient that works to soothe down inflammation, redness, irritation. It's something that you can imagine along the same lines of Centella Asiatica. <laughs> this is the Abib Heart Leaf Essence. And I want you to see how gloss skin it is. The majority of what's in here is 80% heart leaf extract. And what's within the heart leaf is actually something called quercetin. And this is actually what helps to clear out dead skin as well as regulate excess oils. It's also got winter leaf extract as well as succinic acid to support with irritated skin barrier. So all in all, it's doing it all. Okay, so you see how much hyperpigmentation I have from like my acne marks, right? What people don't talk about enough is that hydration is one of the quickest ways to reduce hyperpigmentation and bring your skin back to the state that it was, nice and even, because when it's dehydrated, it will and can produce more dark spots. So the turning and essence steps are where it's at. And then I think this guy is around 30% off. We add to cart. <laughs> 
Just when you thought I was done with turning pads, I have another one. This is the Abib Heart Leaf Spot Pad. So I talked about the skin food one. This pad itself is different from that one slightly. It's a little bit thinner and there's also two textures on it. So there is that more gauze exfoliating side and then there is the smoother, softer side. So you can kind of like use it depending on what you want. So if you're going to use it like a mask, I would put it on the smooth side just to like, you know, adhere to the skin. So you see this area, I just went ham and like popped a bunch of whiteheads and pimples. So this formulation is really good for acne prone, sensitive skin. So I'm gonna put it over those areas and I kind of use it to like soothe, calm down that redness. So now I'm gonna take off the pads and then turn it over to the gauze side and then just sweep over with the rest of the essence. It's actually like less red. Do you see that? Okay, so I actually have both of them here and I wanna just show you the size difference as well. It's just slightly bigger, the skin food one. So I would say if you want more moisturizing and like slightly like skin barrier building i would maybe say the try the skin food if you want calming anti-redness instant like cooling soothing effects then maybe the B. but also if you like a thicker pad then this one and then if you like something that's a little bit it's got exfoliating as well then the B. i got you guys Bloop. at the cart and I just want to throw this in because I've actually been loving it. It is the Abib Jericho Rose Cream. If you're looking for a moisturizer, holy crap, I love it. It's in this like tube thing that it looks kind of like Diptyque and all those kind of brands, but it's this beautiful rose inspired cream. Like I used it and I was like, oh my God, this feels so good. And it's got my favorite ingredient, the mushroom extract. If you guys came to the meetup and you were asking me about suggestions on which ingredient to look for, for acne, for hydration, for combination skin. I said mushroom and dry skin because it just gives you such prolonged hydration and flexibility on the skin, but it's super lightweight. So it's kind of like hyaluronic acid, but on steroids. Love it. And if you guys were looking into getting those Abib sun sticks, this is also the time. There's two different types, one for more combination oily skin and one for more dry skin. So there's something for everyone. Okay, next, <laughs> wait for it, is a beauty of Joe Sun. So guys, yes, it is on sale. One of our most loved brands in the skincare world. It is the time. So we all probably have our favorites, whether it's the sunscreen or the serums or the moisturizer or the balms, like everything that Beauty of Joe Sun does is just like so phenomenal and it's beautiful. But I'm specifically gonna talk about this one today. It is the Revive Eye Serum Ginseng and Retinol. And because I just don't think I talk enough about eye creams, but this is such a great and affordable eye cream that actually works because it has retinol, which, has proven to work for fine lines and wrinkles. So they essentially merge two of my favorite ingredients, the ginseng, which is this herbal ingredient that's been used for thousands of years in Asian culture, and it helps with longevity and it has a plethora of health benefits and the retinol. So the retinol is actually micro-encapsulated, which is called liposome stabilized retinol. And what that means is that it's a slow release of retinol. And what's important to know is that retinol with an O is different to retinol with an A. Very different because retinol has to be converted through a two-step process for the skin to actually pick up on it and do what it needs to do. Whereas retinol only needs one conversion step. So it's actually much more effective in being able to help with fine lines and wrinkles and just boosting up that dermis layer of our skin, which is really important for the under eye. So this is a really beautiful formula. It's lightweight and it has that quintessential, like slightly yellow color because that is the color of retinol. So up onto the ends of the eyes and then you can just spread the rest like all through out the eye area because it is just ingredients that work for the rest of your skin. Anyway, oh, oh no, I put it on backwards. And 
I don't need to say too much about this because there are so many raving results on Amazon. You can like read other people's experiences. It is beautiful. If you're looking for other products within the Beauty of Josan brand, I think they'll have up to 40% off on the selection of their products on Amazon. And this guy has, I think, 30 or 33% off. Definitely a time to use your eye cream. Add the cart. <laughs> a lot of you guys also in the previous videos asked like, how do you know it's real so all the links will be below and we know those are the ones that actually sell from the source from the brand itself it's the ones that style korean actually fulfills so yes just use the links below and you should be good to go next is this guy i'm so excited to talk about this moisturizer guys it's called the moringa ceramide collagen enriched moisturizer and this is from the brand Hamish. So we all know Hamish has that cult favorite cleansing balm. I mean, I'm still using it. It was probably the first cleansing balm I ever used. Never did I even look into the other products within their line. And I'm so glad I tried this. First of all, look how luxurious she is. And I actually realized this is almost like a dupe of Sisley, which is that really high-end luxury French skincare brand and they both do very similar things but let me first talk more about this so it's first of all in a pump bottle I always ask why aren't moisturizers in pumps and they're always got like lids on them anyway so this is in a packaging that I love guys you have to see how smooth this is okay so I'm gonna take a little dollop and then look This is like one of the most satisfying moisturizers I've ever applied. It is like the most beautiful gel lotion, but it's cushioned and it's cloudy, but it's also like translucent. And we have to talk about what's in here. So the main ingredient is the Moringa oil. So Moringa oil, it's like the most underappreciated ingredient, I feel like, because it deeply moisturizes the skin. It also helps to fight inflammation and soothe irritation. And it works beautifully for acne prone skin. Ooh, how do they do it? Love it. Love, that's like a double hot. <laughs> so going back to the Sisley, cause I, I was like, it looks really familiar. So the Sisley one is called the Ecological Compound Advanced Formula, 60 mils. This is 120 mils. So it's double what the Sisley is. And the Sisley costs $180. So the ingredients of the Sisley is a little bit different. It's got some other things, but I feel like comparing what the end effect it wants to achieve is the same thing. They're both moisturizers. They're there to strengthen, revitalize, balance all skin types, go-to moisturizer, beautiful. So if I haven't convinced you enough, I rest my case. That's it, I quit. <laughs> no, but seriously, if you're looking for a moisturizer, add to cart. <laughs> you sit there beautifully, my friend. Next up, we have sunscreen. Do I need to say more about this? I don't think so, but we'll go into it for the people who haven't heard. People in the back. <laughs> so this is the Skin 1004. It's the Hyla Seeker Water Fit Sun Serum. So if you've been under a rock and you haven't seen this, this guy is like one of the most lightweight sunscreens you have ever, ever, ever heard about. This is really for the people who hate sunscreens. You will convert them. It's in a pump form, you spread it out, and it basically is this super lightweight, it doesn't even feel like sunscreen, sunscreen. And as the name suggests, it is kind of like a serum. The Centella, the Viral Sunscreen. So it comes out like this. And then when you put it on, you can see a little bit and then it disappears. Do you see that? Woof. Gone. Super glowy, very healthy. I mean, there's a reason why this is so popular. So the Hyla Sika is actually referring to a combination of hyaluronic acid as well as Centella Asiatica. So it is a calming sunscreen. For oily folks, I would say like in the summers, you could even just skip your moisturizer because it does have like that very glossy dewy finish if you're looking for a more mattified it's not satin it's like very dewy glow and my conclusion on this is that it's super lightweight but gives your skin the glowiest healthiest radiance 
So if that's something that you're looking for, ding. So I think this guy will be 30% off. Okay. Also from Skin 104 is the Zombie Mask Pack. And I love doing this in conjunction with a sheet mask. So it's a two-step process where you activate the powder with this liquid serum. And the serum that you mix it in contains niacinamide, aloe, panthenol, rose flower extract, centella, as well as tripeptide. So it's really skin building. And then you leave it on for like 10, 15 minutes. It starts to dry. And that's when like the tightening action starts. In about 10 minutes, this is going to completely dry up and give me that shriveled prune mask look that we love for tightening. Do I feel tight? Yeah, I do. The flaky layers of a croissant. Then you wash it off. I love actually using a sheet mask after this, like we've tightened the pores and now we want to hydrate it again. And then after that, you're like glowing to the moon and back. And if you're interested in any of the other brands within 104, they're also on sale too. So their products are really easy to use. They're all very hydrating. And if you're looking for a beginner skincare routine, I highly recommend checking that out. So we finished the skincare portion of the video. Now, one of my greatest loves, lip pro. Products. You guys know my favorite lip brand is the Amuse from the K-Beauty lines and also Rom, M Rom MD. I kept calling it Rom MD, but now I realize it's just Rom and, like Rom and. These are the newer gel fit tints and I got them in two shades. So I'll show you what it looks like. So cute. <laughs> so this one is new pink personally one of like my more wearable colors. I love it so much This is like an everyday pink. It is so natural and then like you can build it up as well The more you put on the more glossy it will look or you can just keep it as like more of a natural sheen I've been using this like every day that I do have makeup on or even when I don't have a lot of makeup on it just gives my overall complexion that boost of like health this is rose milk that i chose it's got a lot on the doe foot these are still tint effect so what that means is you apply it and when the gloss portion of it comes off it will stain your lips or like tint your lips and give you that really beautiful flush of color throughout the day so as you can see pop of color I have olive undertone and this is what it looks like. If you have fairer, it will look even more like vibrant and just spring and fresh. Now let me show you what happens when it like starts to come off the stain. And now do you see there's like color pigment that's still left on my lips? New Pink, I would say, is an MLBB. This is like a pop of color, really fresh, really girly, but still very wearable. Okay, add those to cart. I have like all the shades. So guys, trust me when I say Amuse products. Yes. Okay, so the Ramand, I talked about a couple in the previous video, but I wanna show you two newer colors. So this is the Glasting Melting Balm. The newest shade is called Peonies. Guys, if you've seen our new launch, you'll know why I'm so excited because Peony is my favorite flower. It's also the logo of Beauty Within. Peony. So it's just this delicious, look at this, look at this. Remember how shocked I was when I first tried it? That was in the last video. These glasting melt bombs are like juice on your lips. They make you look like you're just ready to pucker and go. It's like a gloss effect, but really moisturizing, but it doesn't leave the tint. So keep that in mind. It's not going to like wear throughout the day and the color still be on your lips after like six hours or after you eat you will have to reapply so as you can see it doesn't leave any like tint on there and then this one is nougat sand this is my kind of new current fave for the fall because it's more of like a dusty rose color with a hint of like brown but when you put it on it looks beautiful so if you're not into like the pink pinks like the peonies then this is maybe something that you will especially enjoy if you want less of that bubblegum pop and if you have like naturally darker lip like i do i feel like this will really look beautiful for fairer skin tones it will look more of like a mauvey brownish rose but look how pretty that is 
and it looks like you have gloss on it. Seriously, if you have dry lips, this is a game changer. Definitely more moisturizing than like the Amuse ones because it's got that film of just moisturization. So these will give you like glazed donut looking effect lips where it's plump, it's juicy, it's like you got gloss on but it's not sticky and it's beautiful. These ones, oh, look at the packaging, look at the packaging, they're like cute little capsules. These are uh, tinting effect, they'll give you my lip but better kind of look even as you wear it on hours throughout the day. So yes, get both, get all colors. So guys, that is my Amazon Prime skincare haul for you guys. So excited to be able to share with you. Just a reminder, this is the time to stock up and buy anything that you've wanted, that you've had your little eyes on because everything will be like from 20 to 50% off. So run and grab your faves. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if there's anything you want me to try in future videos, leave it in the comments. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye. Happy shopping. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>